Sural Nair, Anatomy, Pain, and Block. So, start with some relevant muscles here. This is the lateral head of Gasser Pneumus, the medial head. Behind that, you have the soleus muscle. And the gastric cremus continue as a calcaneal or Achilles tendon. Adding some vessels here and nerves. Here is the greater saphenous vein. Here is the popliteal vessels. And here is the small saphenous vein. So with the greater saphenous vein, we have the saphenous nerve running. And in the medial leg, you have the medial Crural branch of the saphenous uh, br uh, nerve. Here you have the common peroneal, the posterior femoral end about here. Then here you have the lateral sural cutaneous nerve. Here you have the sural communicating branch. Both of them, they are branches from the common peroneal nerve. And then here you have the medial sural nerve, which is a branch of the tibial nerve and this form the sural nerve. So the sural nerve run uh, in this area close to the small saphenous vein, as you see. Here, um, looking from the lateral aspect here, we have the lateral sural uh, nerve. Here, looking from behind, you have the same, the, the, the branches. So. If you notice here, uh, here I'm highlighting the lateral uh, sural branch. Here I am highlighting the medial sural branch. They come together with the communicating branch and continue as the sural nerve on the lateral uh, aspect of the leg. So here, looking at the lateral, see some relevant muscle. This is again the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. Soleus muscle underneath that, tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum, and more relevant, the fibularis or the peroneus longus and the peroneus uh, previous. Adding some vessels here, we, um, here is the common peroneal, uh, lateral sural cutaneous nerve, and then the small, the sural nerve close to the uh, small saphenous vein, uh, as we see in the lower leg. Um, what's important and unique about the saphenous nerve, the anatomical variation. So classic pattern type one, here you have medial sural cutaneous nerve and lateral sural nerve. They union together in the communicating branch, and they continue down the leg as a sural nerve. While type 2, less common, you only see the medial sural nerve, which is a continuation of the tibial nerve, continue down the leg as a sural nerve. Type 3, you only see the lateral sural nerve, which is a branch of the common peroneal nerve, continue down. In type 4, you have the medial and the lateral sural nerve. They continue down, but they never communicate. They never communicate. So this is important when you are scanning, trying to find the nerve, or doing a surgery, or trying to diagnose a sural neuralgia. So how sural neuralgia present? So to remind you, the sural nerve, is a pure sensory nerve. Um, it doesn't have a motor function, and it supplies the posterior lateral aspect of the distal leg and lateral aspect of the foot, heel, and ankle. So how the pain of sural neuralgia present? Basically, neuropathic pain, an altered sensation like, um, and then in the sensory distribution of the sural nerve. So the patient will uh, reach down and feel the lateral calf uh, or uh, the lower leg or even the lateral sole of the foot. Causes of injury. Um, from my 
experience in my clinic, the most common cause I've seen the sural nerve biopsy and surgery. As you may know, um, the sural nerve usually is the most common nerve to do a biopsy in case you are doing a workup for peripheral neuropathy or whatever, you want to take a nerve biopsy. You go to the sural nerve, it makes sense. It's a pure sensory nerve. Uh, no motor deficit here if you take a chunk of that of nerve. However, with any surgery, that can be complicated with neuralgia. Another uh, uh, cause, uh, potential cause, the uh, guanectomy with the lateral branch or the sural branch. Uh, another cause is the calcaneal or Achilles injury or surgery and knee arthroplasty. What I also found helpful uh, to target this nerve for uh, resistant Achilles tendonitis. Um, size for entrapment of the sural nerve, you have at A, mid calf between the head of the gastrocnemius, and then you have the fibulous arcade superficial to the Achilles tendon at B, and then you have the lateral foot at C. So how we block this nerve? Um, very um, easy once you find it, of course. So if you place your ultrasound probe here, uh, you can appreciate the lateral and the medial head of the gastrocnemius, and between them, you can see the sural nerve. So here, this muscle, it's a soleus muscle, and if you remember what's underneath that muscle, from my previous lecture is the tibial nerve, correct. Um, so here is another uh, picture and it show you clearly the fascia lata or remember what we call it here, the crural fascia. So here another uh, images, if you scan up here, you see the two head of the gastrocnemius, the soleus muscle underneath that. You see the fascia and underneath that the muscle. If you scan down here, remember the nerve pop above the fascia now. So if you imagine that's the fascia line, the, the, the nerve just above it, and you can appreciate that start to get close to the small saphenous bean. And here you have the Achilles posterior, and here you have the Curonius longus and sometimes previous uh, anterior. Here is another picture with the Curonius previous anterior. And here is a good place to block it if you are trying to target a foot pain or an ankle uh, pain. Um, another image again, you see the close proximity to the small saphenous vein. This is just at the lateral uh, malleolus level. Um, so this is what I have for you. I hope uh, you find it uh, helpful and thank you for watching.